What's going on YouTube? It's your boy here, Desi, with another that profile bringing it to you once again. Woo! I love that. I feel excited. That came out really nice. Anyways, <clears throat> I'm bringing on a budget Chadell profile. Budget. Budget, right? You don't need high price cars. You don't need any high price rarities. It's a budget deck. Have fun playing Yu-Gi-Oh! It's all about having fun. No competition involved. I mean, it still it still could do some work. It still could do some work. You still could win games. You can still do the most of it. But, you having fun with it. So, I'm bringing you a budget depth profile of Shredells, which allow you to play Yu-Gi-Oh! and to understand the game and just have fun instead of worrying about high-priced cars and stuff like that. By the way, um, yes, yeah, I need a duel. I need a duel, my boy. I need, I need, I need another duel with this um deck profile um that I'm about to show you. Um, first and foremost, uh, you know, you probably already know the typical car, Shadows. Shadows a really good um archetype. You know, sent to the graveyard effect activates. Uh, flip summons or flips slash sent to the graveyard effect kind of cars, which is pretty cool because you work with the graveyard a lot. Pretty much, you can work with the graveyard, work with your hand, work for. Pretty much anywhere, um, and then the, the extra deck monsters, not once per turn, which is really good. So let's get into it. Um, so we got three, you know, obviously right. Three Chadel window, Wendy. Ah, wow, Wendy. Three Chadel Wendy. So basically, you already probably already know what it does. Uh, you know. Flip summon, um, special summon a uh, Shadow card face down or face up to your field, and you know, send to the graveyard, best summon a Shadow face down. Really no deal. Uh, Skormala. Now, I run two Skormalas because I feel like if you're not running summon, Summoning Monk, there's no point of running three Skormalas. Pretty much, you dump the Skamala just to dump another card. When I could just dump that card. Why I got dump the Skamala? Just to dump another card and give the, the opponent more time to think, uh, oh, hmm, you gonna dump another card. So, get point, get straight to the point. You feel me? Get straight to the point. But, um, yeah, I, I, I agree at two instead of three. But, I mean, it is what it is. But, you know, I still won some games with it. Pretty cool. Uh, so, it's good. Now we got the Shadal Dragon. Now, this dragon is really good for, you know, uh, you know, breaking back rows, uh, hand cards that you might need to get off the back row, any spell trap card that you might need to get off, or anything like Zombie World, or anything that, you know, it's a problematic. So it's like a spell remover type of card that I use. I run two because, you know, if I lose one, I will have an extra one in my deck, so I can actually, like, you know, go off. And um, use that second one. Um, I want to run this at one, but so the beast pretty much draw a card and you know, uh, flip summon, draw a card, discard a card. I mean, draw two cards, discard a card. Uh, the other summon, sent to graveyards, um, draw a card. But I feel like it's good at two. I want to cut it to one just because, but I don't know. I just feel like. I don't know. I, 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 I'm still shaky about that. I want one um, aerial because, you know, it is what it is, you know. It is what I'm saying. <laughs> it it, you know, you need that extra, um, you know, resource. You know, banish from the graveyard. You might have problematic card that you need to get rid of in the graveyard. You need three banish. Which is really nice, and you can spend some in, if somebody decides to banish one of your cards or your Shadow monsters in um in the in your graveyard, get the flip summon um, with the strap card and bring it back. It's how simple, right? Yeah, don't count your luck on it. I'm playing. It, it's, it's a really fun deck. It, it's 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 it could be competitive. It just it's very budget wise, and I want runs on Shadow um Hatch Hog. Because it allowed me to, you know, get it's an extra resource again to um, add Shadow to my hand and you know carry on to my place. I want one Shadow Falco because it allowed me to spell summon 
to the feel when I use it in fact and stuff like that or especially some Mr. Doll face down pretty much it's not the best car it's a good car because it's, it's best some of the feel but you know when windy is it's the same thing right um I run two performance trick clowns not obviously performance trick clown is the you know when first when if that first came out or when the decks um new cars or support came out trick clown became you know that neighbor hey i want to be introduced to it because you know it's a light monster plus it's yeah it's a light monster so i can summon construct and then you know bring back to the field and then you know have an extra monster on the board i want one Pricka tops because it's limited to one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because it's limited to no. Um, I have the pricka top because one is a free monster on the field to pop a car. Two, you know, it's the attribute of earth, so I can use it as an earth um fusion. And then for the hand traps, two effect builders. Effect builder it gets sleep. I haven't seen people use effect builder a lot. I don't know. Like, it's starting to lose its, you know, its hand trap, uh, street cred. <laughs> but it still could do some work. It still could do some work. It's just, like, it, it, it could do some work. It's not, um, monster plays, uh, that do one card combos. And then, the best hand trap ever, I run two Ash Blossom. Not three, two, because I want to keep it at, uh, two, two, two. I'm going to run... Two hand, um, two ash blossom, two fat bear, two um, draw locking bird, which show I just took those out, but I run two of two of the hand tracks to keep it even, I guess, and then I run kaiju's one um one uh, la, 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 dog. Listen, don't don't. The Mad Flame Kaiju, okay? I, I had tongue twists. I run one, the Mad Flame Kaiju. Um, the thing is, I don't really know, okay, what kind of Kaiju I should keep or run. I walk on run the light, but I don't have that card right now, so I run the fire. Um, the best Kaiju of them all, uh, Jesus. Yeah, the best Kaiju, I thought I had something on my card. I know I'm budget, but you know, it's still, it's still a nice card. Um, the Sea Turtle, one run, one of this, one Kaiju. Because, like, going first, you don't want to start with these cards. You don't. Going second, you probably do. And then I run uh, another Kaiju. Now, this Kaiju, I don't know. I don't feel like I should run this, but, you know, it helps. Anti Kaiju War Machine, I know it helps. Um, I don't know. It, 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 it didn't have no problem at for me because with the spell of Interrupted Kaiju um, spell card, I could, you know, like a black hole, destroy the whole field, and then summon the Kaiju, and I could summon this card, I believe. If I'm, if I'm wrong, please correct me because I don't know a lot about Kaiju um, monsters. I don't know a lot, a lot, but, you know, I could go on. But that's my kaiju package. Mm -hmm. Spice, I guess. Um, uh, Shadow Fusion. The best card in the Shadow on um, archetype. Because you need a fusion, they're based on fusions, right? It allows you to fusion from the extra deck. Um, it allows you, no, I'm sorry, correction. It allows you to fusion from the deck. If, I, if, if you're... Pony has a uh, monster special from extra deck, which is pretty cool. So you can use resources in your in your deck, which made this card really dope. Um, yeah, so it's a pretty good fusion card. I want one L fusion. I don't know. I want run because um, I, I I want one. That's because I don't really want it. I I like that to dog fusion better than the L. Even though L is a quick effect, and I could something I could do on the opponent turn, and I guess, but so I still run it because of the quick effect. But I was not gonna run it because I run super polys. I run three super polys because you can't get enough fusion. You can't get enough fusion. You can't. Fusion is best, right, Prick kids? Oh, I'm sorry, they're like uh, 
they're link monsters. <laughs> uh, that was one reasoning. Because this car, even though you're excavating or you dump the car from your own that to your graveyard and your opponent calls it right, the Shadal effect still goes through. So you you have the Shadals in your graveyard that you send it and then their effect still goes through. I mean, that's a plus, no matter what. The, and then I, I feel like these two cars people are sleeping on, Sinister um, Shadow Games, even though it's not searchable, uh, it's not searchable by a Shadal car, or you can dump it by a Shadal effect, which sucks. But this car, you know, allows you to sense your dog card to activate that fact and also flip them up to activate their fact, which is really, really, really a plus. It's really nice. It's really like I feel like this card should be run more as your dogs. And then I run one schism because all you need is one schism. It's a really good card. Um, allow you to pretty much this whole deck allow me to fusion anywhere from my deck from my graveyard except for, from, except for my extra deck I can't fusion from it it'd be cool if you fusion from the extra deck fusion from my deck with Sadal Fusion and then Skills don't allow me to fusion from my graveyard or my field um, and then I could pop a card that's easy for the tribute the same tribute as the monster I summon um, which is really good I won one Shadal Incarnation because the only one you need because I can recycle, you just need one. One Shadow Core, okay, you probably need that extra monster on the field. That's a trap. You could probably want to use this um, to dump it. Um, wow. So one Red Reboot, because why not? I don't feel like it's a hand trap. I mean, for a trap card, I guess. That's another hand trap. Because I also run three Thaumanica Punishment. Now, this card is very good in the deck because if you send out your dog card from the gra um, from the extra deck to the graveyard, it activates an effect, which is a plus. You destroy a monster, you activate one of the dog um, fusion monster effects. Or you could just, you know, s you know, send the obvious card that everybody sent, Elder, and pop two cards on the field. And, you know, that's a plus, I guess, for this dog mana card. But this, car this card is really good in the deck. Especially for um, Aqua Pain. Because you know, Aqua Pain, you could add a card, shut down a card to your hand, and send it to the graveyard, and activate the effect, and you know, depends. There's so many things you could do with this deck. It's, 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 it's interesting. Like, you could add truck. The best card in the world. No one can debate this is the best fusion world. <laughs> fusion world. Fusion card in the world. Let me stop. <laughs> And I, everybody knows what's the best card, future card. Um, uh, yeah, construct. So pretty much, she got three effects. Pretty much, um, uh, one when she gets summoned, send she got card to the graveyard. Two when she gets sent to the graveyard, you know, add a card to your hand. Three if she attacks battle, she could destroy them by card effect. Um, which is her card effect to destroy the monster. Um, which is pretty good. And she's a light. That's why I run Trick Clown. Um, and if, oh, that's why I run Fat Miller. Wow, I can't believe I forgot about that. That's why I run Fat Miller. Because of uh, Contra. To give me that extra uh, plus, to give me that monster I need to summon. I run this card. I'm not going to pronounce the name. <laughs> because I'm not gonna pronounce the name, which I I I should have been out for a while, and I never figured out what the name is. I mean, I heard it, but I can't really say it. Is well, anyway, don't judge me. So it's an herb, so that's why I got panga tops because it's an herb um shadow, and plus you know it's you know if you get sent to graveyard, it activates the effect, and it's another shadow card. This is the best car in the whole deck, in the whole world. If you can't special something no more, why play Yu-Gi-Oh, right? <laughs> but you know, uh, Wendy is, is a good card in the, in the deck because, you know, when you summon on the opponent's turn, they only can special summon once. Once they get the special summon out, they can they gotta get over this card to, they gotta get rid of this card to keep continuing to play some pretty much they gotta probably go to battle. Um, 
and you know tack into it or tack over it and then pretty much you're losing the battle phase because you have to get rid of this card and you're going to battle you have to get rid of the card by battle then you must waste the battle phase just to get rid of this card which is pretty good um i mean they do lose to you know card effects but it can't be it can't well correction it can't be destroyed by card effects and then um i work on run three because of dogmatic um, punishment but I stay at two because again I don't have room for three so I stay at two this is a good card pretty much I could add a three dog card to my hand from anywhere from the graveyard or from the deck which is really good which is really good I have this one uh, Krista as a fire but I could, like pretty much I could side this out with a win one a uh, war one Anything that I feel like I might have to side out for another dog, or I can side out for another dog, uh, fusion card, but I can just side out for attribute of any other dog. Pretty much it's just there um, because of the kaiju also, which is fire. But I can should also side out for the water because I have the water kaiju, which is um, pretty much that's why it's there. Um, for if it's for the super poly um, target. Um, you know, obviously, you know what it does. Um, the automatic target. So these three are the my punishment target. I could paint an elder. These three is my the, the one you want to target with um um with the automatic uh, punishment. So that's that's it for the um, fusion. So I run four um, links. Oh, uh, Shadow um, Control. Uh, grab the controller because if I want to get private, I need to get rid of Shadow Car, and I can just get rid of it from with um, controller. Uh, Verde Plana. Ah, Ver Verta Anaconda. <laughs> One Conda for Ava. Bruh, I'm not funny. Let me stop. And then I run um this car. I guess boom mating. Yeah, I run this card because give me that uh, that light attribute that I need so I can send um, one shot card, link it off into this, and probably going to um blah 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 shot contra, which is nice. But I'm gonna run more engines of it, but again, still testing the deck out to see more about. It. I mean, it's a lot of way you can play with your dolls with sub terror. Um, with more Dalmaga cars. Um, probably is way like I like decks that you could infuse different things into, which is pretty good. If you like the deck profile, please leave a like, subscribe, and a comment below. If you feel like I'm doing something wrong, let me know in this comment below. If you feel like I should continue with your dolls, please let me know in the comment below. If you feel like your doll is a good deck. Yeah, I don't know why the long pause. Let me know below. But I like this deck. Pretty good. Pretty, pretty dope. It's a nice bunch of that, right? <laughs> I'll see you next time, YouTube. Peace. <laughs>